Hey, what's up? This is Nick from Magloft. And in this episode, I'll be showing you how you can create a responsive cover page using the Magloft editor. So the first thing that you want to do before you get started is to organize the content and the images that you'll be using. A great way to organize your content is to use Google Drive. And you can see here, my good friend Mass from Velando has already set up a folder with Velando Magazine and a folder for his first issue. And not only that, he has also created a folder for each of the page, which contains the assets and text, images and text, that I need to use to create this issue. Now, if we jump into the cover here, you can see that Mass has sent me the original cover photo. And you can see here it's 24 megabytes. So this one is straight from the camera. Now, what I went ahead and I did is I optimized this for the editor, for digital magazines and digital publications. And I resized the image so that the maximum width uh, and maximum height corresponds to that of an iPad Pro. That's kind of the biggest resolution that you'll ever want to use. And this is even for a full page image. So if you have a smaller image, you can even resize it to the amount of pixels that you think will be the, the maximum size. And then on top of that, after I've resized the image, I use this really cool program called TinyPNG. It's at tinypng.com. It's free. All you do is you upload, you drag and drop, or you click here to upload your image, and they will compress it without any loss in quality. And they do an amazing job. So you can see here, I was able to take it down to well below one megabyte from its original 24 megabyte size. Now this is important to optimize the size of the issues that you're creating. The smaller the issue, the faster it will download and the less space it takes up on your user's devices. Once you know what files and images you want to use for your page, it's time to get them organized in the editor as well. So here we are in the Magloft editor and I'm about to get started on Mass's first issue. I always want to try and organize my media. So I am going to click this small plus button here to create a folder. I'm going to call this Velando because that's the name of the publication, the, name of the project that I'm working on. And you can see now I'm in root Velando, so it already takes me into this folder. I'm going to create another folder. I'm going to call this issue one as it's the first issue that I'm working on. And I can even take it a step further and, and really call this one the cover page. This is a great way to stay organized, especially if you're using many assets or images for an individual page. All right, awesome. You're all set up. Let's jump into the editor and start creating the cover page using layer widget, heading widget, and paragraph widgets. So first of all, I want to click on my widgets and the one I want to use is layer. So I'm going to click, drag, and hold and drop it into this blue drop zone. Secondly, I'm going to take a heading widget, do the same thing. And now you can see inside this layer, I can drag the heading. I'm going to drop it here. And finally, I am going to need a paragraph widget. So I'm going to click and drag. And here you can see if I drop it here, the drop line is full width. If I move up slightly there, you can see it now is not full width, which indicates that it is inside the layer. So it's at the same level as the heading. I want the paragraph right below the heading. So I'm going to drop it here. Next, I am going to take a second layer and I'm going to drop this one just below the first layer that I dragged it. Now you can see it's full width. So I'm going to drop it. And that means that I have a layer underneath the layer above. And this layer is going to contain my image or my cover. So I'm going to head over to media. See, I'm still in my folder, issue one, cover page. And I'm going to click the blue upload button. And here I am in my cover folder from Google Drive. And I'm just going to take the optimized photo that I created earlier, and I'm just going to upload that. Excellent. Now you can see I have my first image uploaded and I'm ready to go. For this cover page, I'm going to set the image as a background to this layer. So I'm going to make sure that the layer is selected. I'm going to look in the right hand side in the properties. And you can see here under image and backgrounds, I'm going to click this small image icon, which is going to open up my media panel. 
and here I can just single click, just a single tap on the image I want to use and it will put it as a background to this layer. Now you can see it looks a bit odd and that's because the layer has a set height. So I want to change that also in the properties. I'm going to scroll down here to the layout and I'm going to find minimum height. So this is the minimum height that I need this layer to be. I'm going to add the value 70 VH. And that basically means 70% of the device's height. Uh, you could use percentage, but we like to go with VH and VW, and we'll explain more about that in a different video. So you can just hit return or click the update button. And you can see now the layer widget gets a uh, height set to 70 VH, and you can now see the image that we want to see. Finally, I am going to drag in another layer below my image layer. And in this one, I'm going to drag in a couple of headings. I could drag them in one by one, but I can also, here you can see the heading is already selected. So here's a bonus tip. I can click the button clone selection once and twice. And that gives me the three heading widgets right below each other. So that's a, a, sh a slight shortcut to dragging and dropping three times. And finally, I want to give this bottom layer, I want to give it a background color. But you can see if I just click here in the headings, I'm not really, I'm not getting the layer. It, uh, this is the heading widget that's selected. So I could try and click in between and I can see I got it. But another trick or tip is if you know that the heading here is inside the layer, you can look in the right in the properties and you can see here parent layer. So this parent basically means what widget is upstairs or, or what widget is outside or what widget is this heading nested inside. It's a way to think of layers. And if I click this blue button parent layer, I'm going one step up and you can see in the left, the layer is now selected and I get all the options that I need here. So I'm gonna select the background color. I'm just gonna click in here. And then you can select the color that you want to use. Uh, you have to click in here to get the color that you want. If you know the hex number, which I do in this case, you can just paste it in here. Click return and click save. And then you have the red color. So already things are shaping up and uh, our cover is coming to life. Now there's just a few formatting tasks left to complete this. So I'm going to go to my heading first. I'm going to select the text. I'm going to give it a different font. I'm going to select the Gotham font and I'm going to give it bold. And then I'm going to write my headline. I'm going to select it again. I'm going to give it a different color and I still have my red color from before. Paste that in, click return. And there is a color for the paragraph. I'm going to write, I'm going to give it a different font here. There we go. And then I'm just going to make the issue one bold. There we go. Now I want to control where this heading and subheading is placed on the page. And to do that, I can use the trick again to get the parent layer. So this is the layer that both of these widgets are inside of and I can change the padding for padding left, a V W. So this is again, the width of the screen. You see that moves it in. I'm going to do the same for the right. And I'm going to give it a bit of a padding to the top V H as well. There we go. And as for the bottom part here, my three subheadings, 14 fun things to do in Seminyak. Best of Bali, cafes and villas. Nine fun things to do in Changu. And I want to give all these, I want to make them white. So I can also just move the cursor in here, make that white. And I'm also going to change the font to the same font. And I'll do the same for the two others. There we go. And then I'm just going to make the heading slightly smaller for all three of them. And finally, I want to give it a little bit of space as well. So I'm going to use the parent layer. Now I have the layer that all these headlines are inside. And then I can give it some padding to the left. 8V width. There we go. And finally, we can just 
give it a little of bold to make it stand out a little bit more. So there we have it. We've completed our cover. Uh, one thing that you really want to do whilst creating your pages is you want to use the different layouts. You can see here when I move to the portrait phone, it gets a bit slimmer. It still looks good. I can go into the phone landscape as well. And you can see how the image gets cropped ever so slightly depending on the orientation and how it reveals more. If you go on an iPad and landscape, you'll see a lot more. This is a lot of subtle interactive effects that is, they're really fun when you, when you read these types of issues. So there you go. We've just created a cover page in the Typeloft editor. It's really not that difficult once you get the hang of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions for other episodes, please let us know. We'd love to do them for you. I'm Nick from Magloft. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one.